Hello everybody and hi, my name is Kieran and welcome to Adventures with Anxiety. Now, I've been on a few anxiety adventures myself and let me tell you, <laughs> scarring. Traumatic in, in some ways. Not fun. Not fun at all. But maybe today things will change. We'll see if this one's a better one. Let's, oh no. <laughs> no, please, please, don't touch the button. Okay, okay, okay. No! All right, let's hit go. <laughs> Hello? Little Red Riding Hood? How you doing, girl? What your name is? That's a little aggressive. Man, I love eating my bread sandwich. Ah! Content notes? I don't need no notes, I just need anxiety play. Welcome. This is less of a game, more of an interactive story. Hope you like reading. Sucka! <laughs> Click or spacebar. Ooh, I'll do spacebar, please. So before we start, how do you like to read? Spacebar! Speak this fast in advance on click. Yeah, I think we're all doing good here, so that should be fine. Great. Note you can always change options in the <laughs> icon below. Also, game autosaves at each chapter. Now, let's begin our story. <laughs> Shall we? This is a human. No. Oh! And this is the human's anxiety. You are the anxiety. Okay, you don't have to call me out like that, okay? Good, my wolf's back. Fantastic. Your job is to protect your human from donger. In fact, that sandwich is putting them in donger right now. Oh, I'm gonna get that sandwich, girl. I'm gonna eat that sandwich now. Quick, warn them. Yo, yeah, man, listen. We're in danger. The danger is. Let your anxiety come out to play. Pick what's most similar to your fear tells you. Oh! oh I just noticed she's <laughs> hey. Oh sweet, so I get to I get to make this my deal with my anxiety. <laughs> my anxiety looks it's okay, actually my therapist has talked to me about it. It is actually good to personify um your negative mental illnesses, because it's easier to tell them to shut up that way. Anxiety for me looks like a little scared nerdy boy, except it's okay to punch this one. We can bully that nerd all the way to heck. He's not me. I'm a nerd. He's a nerd. All right, so we're eating alone for lunch again. Always have been, always will be. We're not being productive while eating. That is a serious, legitimate concern of mine. That white bread's bad for us. I don't really care for that much. We're not productive while eating. That is genuinely a thought that I have many days of the week. I might be part of the reason that I don't eat breakfast, but it's most lever health. Healthy boy. We're not productive while we're eating. We're not productive while we're eating. We oh, about your laptop and do some work right now. Um, I'd rather not get crumbs on my keyboard. We're not contributing to the body of society when you're a society parasite. My anxiety is not Scottish, that's an artistic license. The society body will go to the society doctor for medication to kill the society parasites. Then we'll die. She seems quite alarmed. Oh, there we go. Yep, nope, that hit it. That hit it. You used fear of being a bad person. Is super effective. See, human, I'm your loyal guard wolf. Trust your gut. Your feelings are always valid. Valid, yes. Correct, no. Get your human energy bar to zero. To protect our physical and social moral needs, you can use fear of being harmed, fear of being unloved, and fear of being a bad person. Pro tip. Blood choices that personally at your deepest, darkest fears. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's time to check my phone. Protect your human from the world, from other people, from themselves. Good luck. Round one. Fear. 
<gasps> no, flight! That would be a punny thing to say. Uh, Facebook feed says there's a party happening this weekend. Doesn't that weirdo throw a party every weekend? What in a void are they trying to fill? They must be deeply messed up inside. Also, I got an invite? Well then, say yes or we'll die from loneliness. Say no, it's full of poisonous drugs. Ignore it, we'll just make pretty sad. This is gonna be a way more introspective video than I was expecting. Welcome to getting to know me. Oftentimes I will say yes for the reasons of dying of loneliness. No, it's full of poisonous drugs. Drugs do make me uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. I would not enjoy a party where they were there. We just make parties sad. Mine's probably the loneliness thing. See, yes, or we'll die from loneliness. There's no one will show up at our funeral. They'll dump our ashes into the ocean. We'll get eaten by a whale. And we become whale poop. Oof. So yeah, we should go to that party. Just bring a laptop so we can do work and not be a society parasite. Gosh! If I make you shut up, then fine. I'll say yes. Yeah, I usually say yes to parties. Mostly to be polite more than anything, honestly. Whale poop, human. Whale poop. Anyway, Facebook's too much. I need something calmer, less anxiety producing. What's new on Twitter? Terrible. Terrible decision. Oh no, look at that horrible news story. Oh no, that tweet secretly about us. Eh, hey, a gif of a cat drinking milk. Um, I consciously avoid news stories because I usually find them depressing. And I'm not that paranoid that I think tweets are secretly about me. Also, nobody's really tweeting about me. Tweet me at, hi, my name is Kieran. Is that my Twitter handle? I don't even use Twitter, really. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna see a, a, a lactose-tating cat. Yeah, a gif of a cat drinking milk. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. Just retweeted it. I think, cats can't digest milk and we're terrible people for enjoying animal abuse. Is that true? Okay, gonna try Snapchat. Perfect. There's never anything good on Snapchat. Good or bad, Snapchat doesn't do anything cool. It's my least favorite of my existing social medias. Huh? Photos from yesterday night. So that's what those weekly parties are like. Oof. Looks way too crowded for my anxiety. Maybe I shouldn't have said yes to the invite. Change our answer like a jerk. Change our answer. It's too crowded. You know, you got really bad posture. Great posture. Um, do I know anyone there? I would never go to just a party where I don't know the people, m at least some of them intimately, and I don't like crowds. But I would feel bad for changing my answer. Change our answer like a jerk. Like a jerk, I see. They were counting on us to come, and now we're betraying their trust. Do you want to die alone? Well, poop. Ooh, that one hit hard. I apologize for that. Shut up, shut up. Keep it as a yes. Whatever. New Tinder notification. I know nothing about it, so I really can't say if that's an upgrade or a downgrade. What? That hookup app? It's not a hookup app, it's just a way to meet new people. It's a hookup app. Oh, I, I got a match. They look cute. Please don't ruin this one. Danger! Danger! Donger! Dunger! Hanger! Hunger! We're being yeast by other people. We're just using other people. Your match is a serial killer. Even on the dating apps that I have used, getting a match is a bit of a rarity. Of these three, I'm probably most likely to think that I'm being used by someone just as a baseline. Because, I mean, listen. When you have this much intimidating sexiness in a man, they're gonna feel insecure about themselves and they're gonna use you, not out of malition, but just because they can't accept that they are so much less sexy than I am. Do you understand? We're being used by our people. Random hookups may be able to fill the hole down there, but they can never fill the hole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's not actually an 
incorrect thing to say. Don't hook up. It's not great, especially if you have mental health issues. It's not, it's a bit abusive to your mental state. In here. The point is, we're going to die alone. Wow, I'm really making her feel unloved. Honey. I'm so sick of this game. We're a society parasite. We'll die alone. Cats can't digest milk. I just want to live my life. I just want to be free from all this. Pain. Hey. Human. It'll be okay. As your loyal guard wolf, I'll always keep an eye out for danger and do my best to keep you safe. I promise. Last app. Instagram. What you got? It's... more party pictures. Everyone looks so happy. Free from worry, free from anxiety. Gosh, why can't I be like them? Why can't I just be normal? Speaking of parties, about this weekend's invite, here's my final decision. I know what you would say, Anxiety. Oh, I see what this is saying. What does my anxiety usually press upon me? My anxiety, personally, always goes for the... Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go! But... I usually do. Because I feel like at the end of the day, it's good life experience. My anxiety decides not to go, but I always decide to go. If this gives me like a bad ending, then I'll just come through again. But this is what my anxiety says. We should. Whoa! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Wolfie. Yuck. Foo. I'm going to say yes to that party. Precisely because you don't want me to. You're not in control of me. Now, excuse me while I eat this delicious sandwich in peace. Yum, yum, yum. Tuna and pickles, like a good lass. <laughs> Where does my anxiety usually go? Yeah, it usually goes for this. This this is all reliable right here. We're horrible people. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you've successfully protected your human from social, mm, physical. You did a good job there, Popper. Well, look how grateful they are. Now look that their energy is zero. You can directly control their actions. Pick your ending move. Finish them. <laughs> oh no. This is my, my go-to in most situations. The whole world is filled with danger. Do you like the armadillo? Curl up into a bowl for self-defense. Curl up and cry! Cry, my dude! Oh, honey. Oh, she's milking. Wow. I did so good at protecting my human. Yeah, Guys, I'm actually gonna leave this here and I'm gonna let you guys continue the anxiety journey. We're at a party. We made it. This is not a party I would ever go to. But it's also a party that I would never be invited to. So, you know. Mm. If you guys would like me to continue this on the channel, say so and I'll do it. But for right now, I think I'm actually gonna leave it here. You don't need to know why. Don't ask. Don't tell. I hope you guys enjoyed this anxiety-provoking adventure. I am assuming it has a very much more wholesome conclusion to it all. How about I just beat that dog into submission? Just get down on it. Just <laughs> if you guys like this video, leave a like. And if you like what I do here and you want to help me make people happy for a living, then please subscribe to the channel. But of course, as always, I love you. And I'll see you next time.